Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the Frontline Changes Report and uh, another 24 hours, another a lot of changes so we're going to start out, uh, we're going to report on um, quite a few of changes from uh, Karamik to Novo Kalinove, Karamik uh, also Karamik, uh, Slovionve, uh, Semenivka as well as Yesno Brodivka and then Kaislivka in the Khaki front. Everything else before that is actually at the at the Afghan front. We're gonna start off with Karamik. Uh Karamik, Karamik and Novo Kalinove actually together. So this so I zoom out a bit. This is the Adiafka city and uh, this is the Adiafka front, uh, which is uh, super hard to draw around right now. Mm, yeah. So anyway, over at Karamik and Novo Kalinove, uh as I mentioned, the Russian force is likely to push in this direction and then swing downwards, and this is pretty much almost what happened so russian forces in the latest uh, the past 24 hours has been reportedly conquered everything on the eastern part of keramik and in fact they have stormed down this road so let me go back a bit and they stormed down this road and enter keramik itself so this is significant changes significant significant changes and this is based on ukrainian uh, reports russian reports is beyond is a uh, a bit different they focus about a bit more on the capture of the entire eastern half of novo kalinove so when you combine both reports together you ha you have a very damning picture of the entire situation which means that the ukrainian forces basically has abandoned the entire position they have redrawn from this area here because of overwhelming pressure uh, from the russian forces and uh, i also talked about this in the analysis you should go and watch it uh the arrow arrow map uh so that is going to be very interesting for you to to predict what is going to come next and uh i mentioned this as well and uh, this pressure probably come from uh, the fact that the russians have attacked into akanhelsky and the and if the russians take akanhelsky the ukrainian forces will be encircled so the 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 smart thing now to do is to quickly run away and I think this actually giving the Russian forces this opportunity to just roll in because this capture over 24 hours is very, very fast. So while this is happening, uh, we also have updates coming from uh, Soloviove. So uh, Soloviove yesterday, we have reported that the Russian forces, uh, Russian, Russian side acknowledged, Rush, brother, Russian side claimed that they have captured Soloviove today uh, over the past over the just past few hours uh deep state ua the pro-ukrainian source have, has uh, confirmed and uh, corroborated that the russians indeed has captured the entire of solo vape and uh the map the mapping now basically uh is now in line both russian and ukrainian mapping is basically more or less the same now that the russian forces have captured uh solo vape so this is now effect so uh, the next frontline change after this is just south of this the russian forces has captured semenivka so after yesterday you russian forces captured selovyove now we have seen we see russian forces capturing semenivka uh, this has been a long time coming as i mentioned that uh, semenivka is likely to fall very soon and uh but it took a little bit longer and uh, in the latest mapping ukrainian mapping mapped it in this way uh, Russian mapping uh, have this area, this additional part. So Russian forces basically have taken the rest of Semenivka and in fact they have expanded outwards, westward, towards the first tree line securing uh, Semenivka uh, position. And uh, this also includes uh, several of these uh, entrenchments. Uh, it seems like the Russians have all taken all of them. So this is a massive um, news you know the the biggest news probably over the past 24 hours is the capture of semenivka of course to me the bigger news is actually the collapse of novo kalinove and karami but uh semenivka of course is very big but i don't i no longer think this is the strategic point of the front line right now because the breakthrough over in these areas here is going to uh, break the ukrainian backbones uh in this front line both new york front and this at the fk front but anyway well uh, watch the analysis report i don't want to talk too much about that this is the front line changes and the next front line change is over in the northern part of netelove the geolocation location of russian forward, forward position getting hit by drones confirming the russian forces have taken this entire area here all the trench trench line that is prepared 
uh, in this area here has been captured by the Russian forces as they continue to progress towards Yasno Brodivka. So this is yet another big uh, capture by the Russian side as they continue to consolidate uh, all this space west of Adyevka city, capturing everything of them. So this is all the reports coming from the Adyevka front. And there's one more report of frontline change is over Kaislivka in the Kupians front. So this Kupian city, and uh, this is and uh, for those that do not know where are we now, uh, we are now here. Just now we were here. So over at the uh, Kupians front at Kaislivka, also major news. Ru there is a breakthrough for the Russians over at Kaislivka as they break into the, the, the town itself. And uh, this is massive, massive news because this area here has been heavily defended by the Ukrainian side. But... Um, the Russians have managed to broke through it and uh, this is big news and uh, this information come actually from the Ukrainian side Deep State UA the pro-Ukrainian source actually reported on this uh, and he and they complained that um, that the area here is defended only by the territorial defense and they do, they have limited force and equipments as a result uh, they they have uh, they have to they have to lose all these gro all these grounds because they don't have the support of heavy weapons, and uh, they say that the situation can deter deter deteriorate significantly, which means that they are actually whoops they are actually expecting that this situation is going to get worse, and I I feel that you no know, with the advance being this fast I think that that they are right it's going to be very fast with the Russian forces breaking this area here in the span of twenty four hours they're going to conquer. The rest of Kaislivka <clears throat> within the next 24 hours and they're going to hit Kodelarivka from the north and Ukrainian forces will bounce. They 100% will bounce. They will not stay to defend because uh, by then the front line is going to look uh, is going to look terrible. It's going to look like this uh, which means they, the forces in Kodelarivka will be encircled. Russian forces will uh, will pincer them from all directions. They're going to run. 100% they're going to run. And uh, this means that this highway will continue to be taken by the Russian forces. The Russian forces will continue to progress. There's not a lot of good defensive positions around here. They're going to break. This, they're going to break through uh, quite significantly. So this is the situation over at the Kupians front. As I mentioned, this is big. This is actually just as big as the one at Novo Kalinove and uh and Karamik. So anyway, a lot of big frontline changes. Uh, so thank you for watching. Press the like button, subscribe, share to everyone that you know. Uh the space is very competitive uh on reporting the Ukraine war. So I only have you guys to support me in order for the channel to grow. If not, the views continue to be you no. Know, terrible uh at 10 20 000 is very very low anyway thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next update